Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday, September 22nd, 2018. And in this video we're looking at a couple of photos of the Moon that were taken at exactly the same time from two different locations. You can see the photo on the left was taken from Gold Coast, Australia at 8.30pm on August 27th, 2018. And the image on the right was taken from Tennessee, USA at 5.30am on the same date, same time, and I believe with matching P900 cameras. Now I took these images and did an analysis on them. The first thing I did was to extract each moon image from this image. So here is the image from Gold Coast, Australia, and here is the image from Tennessee, USA. As you can see on each image, I've drawn a green line coming down to the horizon, and I've also drawn a green dot to highlight the distinctive Tycho crater. Here is the data for viewing the moon as seen from Gold Coast, Queensland. You can see all the data on the left hand side there. Here is the view from Memphis, Tennessee. Here is the simulated view from the center of the moon using Starry Night. And we can see that both locations, which are tagged, are clearly visible. So there should be no problem seeing the moon from these two locations. The next thing to do was to check the location of the moon above the Earth and we can see the position that the moon was at that particular time which was UTC time Monday 27th of August 2018 at 10.30 UTC. That was Gold Coast local time of 8.30 PM. The next step was to convert this map into the flat Earth map. And you can see that I've drawn these red lines to position indicated for where the moon was above the Earth at that time. Next thing was to insert the rotated images of the moon. Let's take a closer look. As you can see I've rotated the images of the moon to match the orientation from the observer from the two different locations. So from Gold Coast Australia looking this way, so the green line is pointing down towards the ground and the same thing for Tennessee. The moon image is also rotated so that the green line is pointing down. Now we can see a problem here because the two views of the moon should be identical. They should be able to superimpose over each other and be identical from these two different locations. But we see a problem here that the orientation is completely different. Maybe the Flat Earth believers would like to explain this anomaly in the view of the Moon as seen from these two different locations. Thank you for watching.